Hey everyone, welcome to the channel and thanks for clicking on today's video. I'm Jules and we are going to go into a incredible Game Boy collection that my friend found at a charity shop. It's at a Salvation Army place in the regional centre where I live and where I find nothing. Now I was at work one night and he sends me a message. His name's Josh, an old friend of mine from years and years ago. And he sends me a message saying, just picked up a Game Boy collection with games in the box for $30. And I'm just thinking, wow. So I sent him a message back, obviously came and send me pictures. I want to see what he got, you know. So he sends me the picture back. The picture actually used for this thumbnail is the, his picture that he took that I got from him that night. And I'm, just, that, and I'm like, there going, wow. That's, and I just said to him, unbelievable. And it is unbelievable. You could find something like that for $30, you know what I mean? So at the time, I'm just like, I'm driving home from work that night. It was like 10 o'clock and I'm thinking, I can't get into this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how much it's, he wants he wants for it. The, I, you know, I haven't really got the money, you know. So I'm just like, I'm thinking to myself, just get it out of your mind. Just get it out of your mind. And then the next morning I woke up, I'm like, I've got to, I've got to suss this out. I've got to go through it. I've got to find out what's going on. So I sent Josh a message and I said, can't get this Game Boy bundle out of my head, which is next to me here what are you going to do with it and he sends me a message back saying not sure yet going to test it we'll let you know so he said he'll let me know so that's fair enough so i knew that i had at least sort of not for well first dibs i hope so like a week and a half went by and i hadn't heard from him and then through that that time i said to my brother i'm like you know he's like what have you been up to i'm like oh yeah this that i haven't bought that much because josh found this game boy collection and i want to buy it so i'm sort of saving money just in case it's, it becomes available you know so a couple of weeks had gone by and then we We'd spoken on the phone and we organised to meet up on a Monday for lunch, you know, so I was hoping he was going to bring them along. Maybe I was just so desperate to sort of get them in my hand. Like, you can never, it, never sort of get excited about anything until it's in your hands. It doesn't, you know, because you never know what can happen. Anything can happen, you know what I mean? So I was just sort of so desperate. I was so keen. I was, I was just trying to f force, just, I, want, I just wanted these games, you know. So we went up on the Monday lunch he didn't bring the games but we were sort of speaking about the quality some had manuals there was writing on the boxes but overall I, I figured they were in pretty good condition from the sound of it and you know and I trusted Josh too you know what I mean and I sort of tried to work out a price so I sort of I offered him around 650 to 750 Australian dollars which is about maybe 500 US and 375 pounds and I said look and depending on the quality of the game. So um, we met up on the Wednesday and he brought the bag, which is two days later, he brought the bag and I looked in there and I was like, that's insane, man. The color on the boxes were incredible. You know, the yellows, the blues, it was just, I was so excited. So I took them home, opened them all up, had a look through the different, what, what they had. A lot of them had stickers on them. Um, some of the boxes were a little bit crushed, but overall the game cartridges themselves were in immaculate condition, you know what I mean? The only thing with the, the Game Boy unit, the, the screen was sort of ha hanging off. It was just sort of only attached by a little bit of sticky tape. So in that, I sort of offered him $700. And he was he was more than happy. I, I, I probably could have got it for 500 But I wanted to just, you know, to be fair for Josh. And thanks for thinking of me. I'm not sure if he watches these, these videos or the channel. But yeah, thanks, Josh. Because, yeah, it's a really, really sort of really really great part of my collection now i'm so happy to have it i love the game boy i've got several units i've got lots of loose carts and now i've got a boxed game boy and i've got some beautiful box games but i never had one box game so now i'm really happy about it. as i've said in other videos about having people's personal collections it's sort of a sub collection for my own now like this is timothy larson's collection so i'll always you know cherish this this collection here that I've gotten off, you know, off Josh, I'm, you know, I'm so happy to have it. It's really boosted and bolstered my Game Boy collection. You know, you can sort of see this says Christmas 95 there. So it's sort of, this collection's sort of spaced over like three or three years or so. And there was even like a, a 3DS charging dock and a, and a, and a DS uh, charger. So who knows what else w was there or whatever happened to that. But, you know, I'm not even going to think about what I got was is amazing, you know. So, yeah. And I wanted to get a Game Boy boxed years ago when i not well since i got back into collecting about two years ago i wanted to get a nice complete box game boy and they were pretty pricey for what, what i wanted and and i sort of let it go and then my brother got offered one on for free off the side of the road with a game boy color and some games and he gave that to me and that sort of started my game boy collection 
And so ever since then, I've got like, this is my third unit. I've got a couple of colors and some advanced and, you know, a few loose games here and there. So to get some nice sort of boxed games for my Game Boy sort of collection is just really, really satisfying. And I'm just absolutely thrilled to have them. You can sort of see, this was one of the games that I saw, just this, ga this golf game. Look at the color, you know. I saw the spine when it was sticking out of the bag when I saw Josh, and I'm just like, wow, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, they're, they're beautiful. And I got these acrylic sort of, um, these acrylic cases for them. So the video that you're watching now is sort of done right at the end. So all the cleaning that you'll see soon. Um, I've done some cleaning with getting the, the some of the stickers off, pressing the boxes. So I'll put a little bit of that in there so you can sort of see some of the work that I did. And then we'll go into sort of some of the games where I sort of hover over the top and just show you the condition of the carts and just sort of some of the inserts that were there because they all come with, you know, well, no, actually, no, they didn't all come with inserts. Some of them had no manuals. Some of them were, like, fully complete with, like, five or so booklets. But, yeah, they're just sort of really, 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 I'm so happy, you know. And just things like, you know, these are the games I sort of left out because I want to sort of just give them a try later, this Street Fighter game, if the camera will focus there we go and just amazing like just look at the condition you know it's just incredible man and just this game i watched one of the games i was actually just i wanted this anyway like i was actually looking for these games on ebay like i wanted to buy the game and watch sort of game boy gallery for the game boy and then i ended up getting this beautiful condition in the box it's just crazy man and as you'll see the games later i had this on a little bit before and just listening to the music the game boy music you know it's just like man that'll do me you know so no, actually, completely thrilled. So what I'll do now, I'm going to put on a little bit of the process that I did with cleaning, pressing, all that kind of stuff, fixing up the, the console. And also, I'll just hover over all the games with my phone. You can just sort of see the condition, see the titles. And yeah, then we'll finish up the video. So yeah, enjoy this little part here. There's a couple of jobs I want to do today. I want to try to remove some of this sticker residue that you can see here. This double dragon's got a little bit there and even some more on the back. I'm trying to do that with a hair dryer. I did remove one just practicing and it worked well, but I'm not sure about all this sort of stuff here. So yeah, we'll see how it goes trying to get that off. There's a sticky here on this chest master. I've got to try and get that one. And there's also this sticker there on that one there. Now I also, we're going to press a box. Now I, you can sort of see this Donkey Kong Land too. The box is pretty sort of crushed. And you know what I mean? Like you can sort of see it like that. Now I I got my comic press here and I had an idea of maybe pressing the box and like sort of collapsing it down. Now I already practiced on this Mario Land and you can sort of see it sort of turned out all right. It's, it's still got a little bit of, um, a little bit of creases, but I don't, I think it'd be impossible to get it out, but it looks so much better. It looks more squarer and you can sort of see with this one next to it there. So what we're going to do, we're going to collapse this Donkey Kong land and put it into the press. All right, now we've got the box sort of pressed flat as we can. We're going to pop it in the comic press over here and just try to sort of keep it as, as best as we can. Now I use a bit of um, baking paper just to go on top of it. I'm not, I think it might be just, I just do it just so it helps to protect the, protect the sort of the gloss of the box. I don't know if it really, I don't have the temperatures too high. So yeah, we're just going to do that. We're going to just press it down like this. Okay, and we're just going to turn it on. So at the moment it's set to about 50 degrees Celsius. So yeah, we'll just let it go. We'll, Leave it on for about half an hour ish and then sort of let it sort of turn off and let it cool down for maybe an hour or two. Then I'll turn it over and we'll do the other side. So we'll, we'll see how it goes until then. And while that's on, we're going to pull the hairdryer out and we're going to try to just clean up these two. I'm not going to say simple ones because you never know every stick is different. But if we can get these two stickers off here, just you know, basically these two front, these two front ones, then that'll be two games done. Okay, we've got Wario next, and it's sort of, the sticker sort of goes into the inside there, so I don't really want to pull off the top here, so we're going to try start from the bottom and see how we go with that. We turn this hair and as you can see, it's not too bad. This is a little bit left over there. It might be just a little bit of the, um, of the sticker. I don't think it's a rip. It looks like we might be able to get that off. 
Anyway, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be better. And that's it. I think that looks pretty good. So you can sort of see there. So yeah, that's good. I reckon I'm really happy with that. Okay, that's that done. Next, we've got this double dragon. It's got a few stickers on it. You can sort of see one there, a bit at the bottom here as well, quite a bit, and at the back. So we're going to have a look and see what we can do with this lot here. As you can see, the double dragon box cleaned up really well. I had to spend a bit of time to get this off up there, but it displays so much better than it did before. There's a little bit of residue left underneath there, but it's not perfect, but that's fine. Even up there looks good, and on the back, it sort of cleaned up really good. So yeah, I'm super happy with the way that double dragon looks now. It looks really, really, really good. There's another couple of crush boxes here too, or out of shape. This one, you can sort of see it's a bit mercenary force. We'll see if we can fix this one up. And also this Nigel Mansell's World Championship. See if we can give these two a little bit of a straighten up. Now the next job is the screen on the Game Boy was hanging off and was just held on by some tape, as you can probably see it along here. So I'm going to try use this do remover with the cotton bud just to sort of remove some of this if I can. Clean up the screen. I was thinking about buying a new screen, but this one's in really good condition. There's no scratches on, on it at all. So I thought, you know what? We'll just use the original screen. So, all right, I'm gonna get stuck into this. I'm gonna see how it goes. Okay, I've cleaned up the game. Well, you can see I removed all of the glue residue with the glue remover, trying to not to get it onto that part of the screen. Now I've also cleaned up this part here. I've just got to give it a bit of a wipe with some lens cleaner, making sure there's no sort of, um, yeah, nothing on the inside of that of that part there. Then we're gonna glue it on with a bit of Loctite. Yeah, and it should, hopefully it all goes well. It'll look awesome. We put the screen on with a bit of glue, but as you can see, it sort of shows from underneath the cover there. So maybe it might disappear when it dries, but anyway, it's a bit, I'm not gonna say disappointing, it doesn't matter too much. It's better than what it was with the screen hanging off, but yeah, that's that. That's done. Here's a close look at the, some of the games with all the inserts that came with them. They're the two boxes I fixed up, Nigel Mansell's World Championship and Mercenary Force. You can see the beautiful carts here, really good condition. And some of the manuals that came in. The, the Nigel Mansell manual was all bent, so I gave that a press and it t turned out all right as well. So they look good. All these games have writing on them. So they're all from the one, the one sort of the one collection. So they all have like Timothy Larson, at least somewhere on the game from the year, whether they're from Christmas or birthdays. I think his birthday was like early January. So these games were like from 1996 all the way up to 1998. So that, that's the Nigel Mansell, that's Mercenary Force. I'd never heard of that game actually. As we head over to Mortal Kombat 2 again, you can see some of the writing on the cover there. And there's the car, it looks nice. There's no manual for Mortal Kombat 2. Same with uh, Alien 3. You can sort of see that one didn't clean up too well. It was very difficult, but I sort of tried as best as I could. But still, looks all right. And that's the car for Alien 3 there. And as you can see, it's in really good condition. The next one was another game I never heard of was Alien Olympic. So that's that one there. Looks all, something different. That's the manual. And again, a beautiful cart. Chess Master, I managed to get that sticker off. You can sort of see there's a bit of the yellowing just sort of down here, but it's not too bad. Other than that, looks really good. That's Chess Master. So then Matroid 2, Return of Samus, another good game. That one didn't have any manual or, in, or any booklets in it, but that's fine. But the cart's, again, in really good condition, as you can see. And one game that I was really ex stoked to get was this Street Fighter 2. Beautiful box, nice manual. I don't think it come with the... Um, the Super Game Boy manual or little sort of leaflet that comes with it. And again, just a really sort of beautiful cart there. So I'm happy to have that one. And another game which I was really happy with is Game Boy Gallery, five games in one. So these are from the sort of Game & Watch game. So it contains five games, the early Game Boy, uh, game, Nintendo Game & Watch games, which was Ball, Vermin, Flagman, uh, Manhole, and also Cement Factory. So I was really happy to get that. Again, you can sort of see the carts are stunning condition. 
and that one had an extra little little um, booklet in it as well and another one the double drag which i showed you cleaned up well and that one just come with the cart so that's the first 10 games now we'll go to the next 10 games all the games come in different degrees of completeness. Some of them were missing instruction manuals, some were completely missing instruction manuals, some were missing this, that, the other. So you'll just sort of see through the next 10 games. Donkey Kong on the left here, a beautiful game, beautiful cover, classic sort of character. So yeah, really looking forward to checking that one out. That one looks like it was fully complete with all the inserts there. You got golf next to that. Again, the carts are just beautiful as you can sort of see with that one and also the Donkey Kong one there. And Golf came with its manual. Then we'll come in with the Donkey, Land Donkey Kong Land Series. I didn't change any of the batteries in these games. I might get around to it. We'll see if I get, how much I play them. But this one looks like it's almost fully complete as well. It doesn't have the, maybe it doesn't have the um, Super Game Boy manual, but who knows which ones were included, which ones weren't. So there's Donkey Kong Land one, two, and also number three over here. And you can sort of see again just with the, the beautiful carts, Donkey Kong Land, and then there's Donkey Kong Land 3 over here. And again, a few manuals. These have all got their manuals by the looks, which is awesome. Then we go to the Super Mario Land trilogy here with Super Mario Land. That was probably the one of the worst condition boxes and games, but even in saying that, it still looked pretty good. And again, that one just come with the game there and also just this little sort of pamphlet. And then we've got Super Mario Land 2 and 6 Golden Coins. And then Wario Land, which is Super Mario Land 3. Again, the games themselves are in great condition. As so we head over to the to the right, to Wario Land 2. I haven't played a Wario game, so we're looking forward to checking that one out eventually. Again, that one looks like it's in really good condition. And just like little, no manual, but it does have other inserts. And on the final game out of the 20 games is Mario and Yoshi show, Yoshi, so that's that. And then finally we've got the actual Game Boy itself. So this is the Game Boy box, pretty good condition. And then it has the Tetris game, the Tetris manual and the instruction booklet. I believe the only thing that must be missing from it would be the 4AA batteries. I'm not sure if that version that came with the cardboard actually had the, um, the headphones. So yeah, just hit me a, a comment to let me know if it did or not. Then obviously the, there's the Game Boy running down here. I've got the um, yeah, the Nintendo Game and Watch sort of game there with Cement, Cement Factory. So I'm really happy with that. So yeah, we'll finish off the video. Hope you enjoyed those games. Just goes to show that you never know what's out there and that's why you have to keep looking because yeah, one day you'll find it. It might not be today, it might not be tomorrow, but you know, yeah, they're, they're out there and that just proves it. $30, you know what I mean, that somebody picked it up for. So yeah, thanks again to Josh for that. And if you like this kind of type of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks to everybody who subscribed over the last couple of weeks. I really appreciate it. I'd love to get to 150 and beyond. So if you're watching this and you love comics, video games primarily with art, tech, horror magazines, all other types of stuff, action figures as you can see behind me, and subscribe because, yeah, we've got, we're going to keep going. We've got some really awesome pickups coming over the next couple of weeks. I know Easter's next week, so probably won't get a video out then, but that just gives more time for pickups to come in. So, yeah, keep on collecting, and I appreciate you spending your time with me and making it to the end, making it to the end of the video. Until next time, have a great Easter, and I'll talk to you later. See you guys.